Hey guys, KB Favorite Gaming here, and welcome back to FIFA 14 Chelsea Career Mode. Today is episode 23, and as you can see from the league table, we are on 76 points, 13 points clear of the nearest rivals, Manchester City. And our first game this episode is against Arsenal at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League. Starting lineup is Czech as Blukweda, Terry, Kurt Zuma, Ashley Cole, Van Ginkel, Matic, William Hazard Oscar, and Fernando Torres up front. So this will be a real test of our ability to put away one of the top contenders for the title this year in Arsenal. We're moving on to the gameplay. Early attack here with Hazard on the wing. Cuts into Torres, feeds Hazard again. Hazard is set through, clearing goal. And in the sixth minute, fifth minute, Eden Hazard puts in the back of the net for an early lead here, which is his 13th goal in all competitions so far. And we find ourselves up against Arsenal very early on. A good advantage that we'll need to carry on to this game. Arsenal kick off after five minutes, 1-0 down. Moving on, Arsenal attacking with Gibbs, puts a ball through to Wushi, who's in goal, shoots it and passes it across goal, and finds Mesut Ozil waiting at their far post, and Arsenal equalise shortly after we go ahead through Eden Hazard. Mesut Ozil gets the equalising goal. We're attacking it with Van Ginkel, fake shots around the defender to Torres, but to Ginkel, but Chesney saves with ease from that shot there. Just before half time, William looks to be on a run here. Gets past a few and puts the ball out to Matic. Matic cuts back, gives it back to William. William with a turn, puts it off to Oscar who shoots it. But the shot is unfortunately well wide of the target there. Just before half time, Van Ginkel has another shot. But it's straight at Wojciech Szczesny there. And Szczesny will clear the goal kick. And the referee does blow for half time here. And it is 1-1 at half-time. And Hazard and Mesut Ozil getting the goals for the two teams. Fifth minute and Hazard for our 13th minute Ozil. Shots at half-time. Four shots, three on target for us. Two shots, one on target for them. Possession 52-48, to 48, pretty even. Salah and Lampard brought on for Van Ginkel and William here in the 64th minute. 68th minute, Walcott attacking. Puts a ball through to Ozil who comes into the box. And we tackle it, but he puts the ball across goal and almost goes in the back of the net, but Salah manages to clear. To find Torres, to find Oscar. Plays through Matic, who's through on goal. Matic looks to find Torres, but intercepted by Bakary Sanya there. 75 minutes into the last 15th minute of the game. Salah puts the ball across, but no one there. Falls back out to Hazard, who cuts it in and finds Torres with the cross. And as you can see, as we put the ball in the back of the net with Fernando Torres to give us a lead, a player was down in the box, and that player is Oscar, unfortunately, our main playmaker. And it is a very serious injury to Oscar as we go back in here, and we have confirmation that he has torn his hamstring. And with that severity of the injury, it is likely that he will be out for the rest of the season which is unfortunate because Oscar is one of our only center attack midfielders with William being the other, but William mostly right mid-duty. We'll see if we can manage as we bring on Scherler for Oscar moving Hazard to center attack in mid, so Scherler can play on the left flank as we wreak his Arsenal kick off back off here, 2-1 down. We are 2-1 up. 90th minute. Great free kick by Ozil, but straight at Petacek. And Czech could throw that ball out. We looked at one more attack with Lampard putting a great ball through to Fernando Scherler. Rather, but Chesney gets it off him. And full time is called. We win here at the bridge against Arsenal, but it does come at a cost as Oscar does pick up an injury in a torn hamstring, which is very, very severe. And we will see if we can go the rest of the season with only one centre attacking midfielder in William. Change the team around a bit, but you see Eden Hazard picking up the man of the match, 8.5 rating. Stats 9 shots, 6 on target, 4 shots, 2 on target. Possession even, 50 apiece. 
Plus, I can shoot 83 for us, 90 for them. And there's just confirmation that Oscar has suffered a torn hamstring and he will be out for three months, which is in fact the rest of the season. So Oscar will take no further part in any of the games for the rest of the season, unfortunately. Moving on, we are hosting West Ham at the bridge in the Premier League. Czech is in goals as Plukoleta, Terry Sharshaw, Van Ginkel, Matic, Salah, Hazard on the flanks, and Willian for center attack and midfield replacing Oscar. And Torres getting a start at striker. See if we can make it two wins in a row here. Early on, 40th minute, really one of West Ham's only attacking opportunities in the first half is saved by Petr Cech. The second one crossed in and a great reflex save by Petr Cech. Keeps Andy Carroll out, but the ball falls back to Carroll. But we clear with Terry. Torres to Salah. Salah looks to create something just before half time. And a mistake by Collins. The ball falls to William who finds Torres. But Torres smashes the crossbar. And West Ham do clear here eventually. And it does bring finish to a very dull first half with the only highlight really being us hitting the crossbar with Torres just before half time and Andy Carroll's header saved by a great reflex in my very check so you see the stats three shots we've had none on target West Ham three shots two on target it's back into the second half here with Carroll kicking off for West Ham straight away they make a mistake the ball falls to Torres Lays it off for Salah, who gives it to William, to Matic, to Hazard, as Torres is offside, cannot play to him yet, but we do lose the ball. A couple of minutes later, Hazard played through, he takes a shot, but a great save by the West Ham keeper. Great reflexes there, just knocks the ball over the top of the crossbar, as you see here, great save, stretched out. William Witts in the corner, finds Shaw. But Shah's headed straight at the keeper and he does clear that. We make a double save with Eto and Danilo coming on. Danilo replacing Mohamed Salah and Samuel Eto replacing Fernando Torres. Danilo will play at right mid for the rest of this match to show off his a few attacking abilities that he does pro has does process there. William attacking finds Eto. And shoots from outside the box, and Eto with a great finish there, past the West Ham keeper into the far corner of the net for his 16th goal in all competitions. And it's a great effort by Eto to get 16 goals so far. And you see here the shot did go through the legs of the West Ham defender and straight past the West Ham keeper. Another replay here. Great shot by Eto. No chance for the keeper. And that does make the score 1-0, the opening goal coming in the 71st minute. 83 minutes up, Danilo is through on goal. He does get pushed off the ball. And we do have a free kick here just outside the area. As West Ham make a sub with Borriello replacing Carroll. 28 yards out and Hazard stands over. But Danilo has 88 power and 75 accuracy. Great free kick stats. So we're going to give it to Danilo as he strikes and Danilo almost scores. Not far away at all. And not the best thing to have the replay up, but you can see it wasn't far away at all. Maybe a better replay, maybe behind the goal or in front of the player would have had a better replay to see where that landed. Nevertheless, West Ham looked to create something late on, but the referee does decide that he has time to blow the whistle. And this animation shows that we have got, we have secured a top four position and for some reason they've given me a black manager. I'm, I'm not black in real life, I'm actually Caucasian. So I did choose Caucasian at the start of the game, I'm pretty sure I did. So there might be a bug by EA there or I might have just completely stooged myself and chosen myself as an African American. But nevertheless, more important things to talk about and that is that we have secured a top four Champions League spot at the end of the season so we are guaranteed a Champions League spot next season which is great news as we have been knocked out by Napoli in the previous episode unfortunate there but the end game stats are 9 shots 4 on target West Ham had 3 shots 2 on target 57 to 43 percent 
Fabian Chalmers in the match. And it is that time already of the month again. No, I'm not talking about periods. I'm talking about the squad report of the team. Pedicek unchanged. As Pulkueta, 79 rated. Great stats there for a right back. John Terry, unfortunately, on the decline. Fabian Shah upping there. Stan Tackle has been upgraded to 80, along with 80 penalties. 88 stand, 88 heading accuracy, his most fought out stats. Luke Shaw, unfortunately, has not gained a single stat this year, which is really bad to see as he's been played a whole load. Van Ginkel and Matic, great centre mid pairing there, have risen a whole lot. Mohamed Salah also has not risen a, little, a bit at all, which is unfortunate to see. As well as William has not, and Torres and Zuma have not gone at all a stat, and Hazard. His physical area has been the only one that's improved. And Danilo, look at those stats. If you want to have a further look at Danilo's stats, you can pause it there and have a look. But he has some great stats on him there for a right back. Andre Schurler, some very good technical stats there for a left mid. Swartz, unfortunately, is being downgraded as he is considering retirement at the end of the season. Eto, only 33 years old, and he is on decline, as well as Cole and Leopold on decline, even though they are in pretty good form. Jao Cancelo, not improving a lot, only one stat. Oscar, great stats, but unfortunately he is out for the season. Hilario, no movement at all. Moving on to the loaned out players. Victor Moses, Marco Marin, Thibaut Courtois, Romelu Lukaku have all steadied. Lucas Piazon, some great stats on him there. 88 ball control, 86 dribbling, some standout stats for him there. Thorgan Hazard, look at those stats. All in the yellow area except for tackling and heading accuracy. Great promising youngster there. Atsu Blackman was on the Christmas and Mekeker and Papau close out the ordinary players who just go up a little bit but not very high rated at all. As well as Clifford and Faraz. But Thomas Culler, some very solid stats on that right back there. Hutchinson going okay. Eight looks like a promising youngster. Some very good stats for a centre back. Looks a bit like Rude Gillett he does in his physical appearance. And Gal Kakuda to close out the squad report with two, three ups there in dribbling, curve, and crossing. We move into our next game, which is against Stoke City. Again at the Stamford Bridge. That is three games in a row that we have had home games. Line up, check as Bukoeda, Terry Shah, Shaw, Van Ginkel, Matic, Salah, Hazard, William, and Fernando Torres getting his third Premier League start in a row. Let's see if he can score a goal this time as we move into the game. 17th minute, Matic plays Hazard in. Hazard looks to find something. Dribbling in and out of defenders. He shoots it, but straight up. Butlin there, very promising England goalkeeper who plays for Stoke. Early on in crew, I was thinking of maybe picking him up alone and loaning him back out, but we do have Courtois out on loan, so I think we will keep Courtois as the second choice keeper as Hazard whips in a free kick and finds Shah. The rebound finds Van Ginkel. But Van Ginkel's shot is just wide of the far post, as you see, first time hit. Not a bad effort from the centre mid, but just wide of the target there. And a great through ball played by Basala, finds Torres, and he shoots it, but I've got to say a good tackle by the defender, put Torres off his game as he doesn't get the shot away properly. Rebound falls to Hazard, who finds Van Ginkel. Van Ginkel with the great ball through to Salah, and Salah shoots it, and it is just centimeters wide of the target. Shaw burst down the wing, find only Butland and that will be the last attack on the first half as the referee blows for half time and the half time it is stalemate, nil nil at the bridge, Chelsea zero, Stoke City also at zero. And you see here four shots, one on target, 55% of possession. While well, Stoke have had no shot, 45% of possession on the ball, moving to the second half here. Early on in the second half, Matic to find William, and William the great over the top ball to find N. Hazard, who shoots it, but it is saved by a good effort by Butlin there. I think it was Butlin, may have been blocked by one of the defenders. No, but it was Butlin who put that ball aside for a corner, and Hazard whips in the corner, and he finds Matic, but a great save. And an open, almost an open goal. And Fabian Shah, unfortunately, the rebound smashes it wide of the post. Really should have put that one away there. As Stoke of a free uh, goal kick, rather. Just a few seconds later, Torres puts in End Hazard. And End Hazard puts it in the back of the net. But unfortunately, it is ruled to be offside there. 
and that's a very, very harsh call. It really, I mean, it honestly didn't look offside to me, but, you know, EA, you got to go with what EA does. Thinking, moving on here, Van Ginkle into the box, and Van Ginkle will put that ball into the back of the net with his left foot. And that is Van Ginkle's 10th goal in all competitions. Great effort from a centre midfielder. He plays in centre defensive mid, and he has had 10 goals this season. Great effort. And yeah, we have got the first goal at last in the 63rd minute here. Van Ginkle with a shot. Five minutes to go. Stoke sent a ball over, and it is intercepted by Shaw, but Crouch gets it off, and then out to Vich. You see that for bad defending, and then out to Vich. Chips it over the outrushing Paticek. And Anatovic puts it in the back of the net for a 1-1 one, one equaliser there. Got to give it to Anatovic. That was a very superb finish to put it over check. But we should have really kept them out. Make a triple sub. Lampard, Shola, Danilo on. But as we kick off here, the triple sub will turn out to be nothing. As we keep out Stoke in the last dying minutes. And... Really, I don't know what that was at the end. It looked like we were going to give away a penalty at the last minute, but Anatovic stays on his feet and shoots well wide of the target. And the game ends 1-1 here. We get a draw, and to be honest, I think, really, we were lucky to get away with a the draw there. We were under fire for most of the match, and we sh really should have went behind at the end there. Stoke only having the one shot making it matter. Eight shots through on target for us, and we can only put away one of those chances. But this does bring the end to the episode now. And you see our next game is against Swansea in the Premier League, and we are clear 83 points on top of the league. And tomorrow, Chelsea host Galatasaray in the Champions League second leg. So hopefully we can get the win there and progress to the last eight. But anyway, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.